What's going on guys? Mike from Patriot Considerations here. Today I'm going to be going over a uh, concept that I know I haven't come up with. I'm not the first one to come up with it, uh, but it's something that I've been working with here. Um, and it's uh, pretty interesting. So this is a rifle light from a company called Goonbeam. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a Streamlight Protac HLX. Um, but he gets these bodies and he does different things with them. Uh, he has white light versions that have uh, a lot higher candela than the Streamlight counterpart, and then these, which are IR lights. So, as you see, I have two lights on this uh, LMT. I've got a uh, Surefire, L uh, Surefire well tool setup here for my white light, and then I've got um, this uh, Goon Beam right here with a clicky tail cap. And what that is set up to do is I have a white light and I have an IR light and then I have an optic that I can passive aim through with night vision. So with this concept, um, this is made to be kind of, in my opinion, a stopgap between um, having an IR laser, like a, a good one anyways, like a LA5 or MAL or something like that, something that's actually usable and has a good illuminator. Um, this acts as a stopgap between having enough money to buy this and not enough money to buy something like a three thousand plus dollar laser that uh, uh, will actually work for you well. Uh, I've used some civilian class lasers with civilian class IR um, illuminators in the past and they're not that great. They really aren't. Um, the illuminator especially, uh, the way that it's designed it's actually is a laser for the illuminator. Uh, you can't go over five milliwatts for um, FCC regulations. I'm not exactly sure why. Apparently civilians just are not responsible enough to not have high power lasers. But you can go buy them from China. You just can't get them manufactured in the U.S. and sold to you without a special license or letter from a uh, government or organization. So, with this here, this is an LED based illuminator. Um, it has a reflector just like any other uh, weapon light does. And um, I have it set up so that you can just run your thumb and activate it either momentarily or constant on. And what that will allow you to do um, with an optic that's the appropriate height and has somewhat decent glass is passive aim just like you're shooting any other time, uh, either with a white light or during the daytime. Allow you to passive aim through the optic. No questions, no real issues with that. You just look through it, you see the dot. If the dot's on your target, you squeeze the shot. Well, in a very dark environment, either a dark room or outdoors somewhere, if you're in a light area or looking through a light area and there's a dark area, um, that's the application for where you need an IR laser slash illuminator. Um, with that, uh, you usually cut those on and it punches through no problem. And you can see the problem with uh, the civilian class lasers is they just don't really have enough oomph to get over, you know, through those photonic barriers. And uh, so that's where this thing really sh does shine, pun intended. Uh, this thing has a uh, this thing has enough punch that it will throw a very nice, uh, focused but still uh, pretty decent spread uh, illumination pattern under an I IR spectrum, and it'll sh throw it for several hundred yards. Within a hundred, it is probably one of the most intense things that you will uh, encounter. Uh, it has. <laughs> a lot. I, I, would, I would put it on par with like a Protac HLX but under night vision so it's just it's got a lot of throw to it. A lot of, a lot of throw, a lot of spill. It's a pretty intense uh, IR light. So uh, with this you can uh, run passively and then when you need to go active you can just cut that on. And the cool part about these is they are extremely inexpensive. You're looking at uh, right around a hundred and 15 to $125 depending on when you buy them. I have an affiliate link down below. Uh, use that. I do get a little bit of a kickback off of it. Usually it'll help you guys out a little bit too. Um, and uh, sometimes when you buy them on sale, you can get them for around $111. So uh, at the time of making this video, this is probably one of the best bang for buck options as far as getting some kind of IR illuminator on your weapon. Um, you can go with something like a Surefire Vampire Head, but just the head for a Surefire body. Um, the vampire heads go for around 250, 300 bucks usually. Um, so this one allows you to quickly switch um, from your white light. So you can have white light right there and then you can run your IR light. 
And as you can see on camera, this camera does actually pick up some of the IR spectrum. Uh, visibly, you really can't see any of this. Um, but you can run your white light and then IR light as you go. Real quick switching between the two, no hassle. Um, and then I run without any pressure pad or anything like that. I did try using a pressure pad mounted off to the side here. It just seemed a little bit, a uh, little bit clunky on this quad rail. So I ended up just going for the uh, push button tail cap and it works out just fine. As you can see on the video, uh, it does have great throw, as I said before. Uh, but uh, with that, you will add some weight to your rifle. Now this doesn't really add that much. Um, compared to uh, an IR laser like a, a PEC-15 or anything like that, those are around seven ounces. Um, this is right in that category, seven to 10 ounces, somewhere in there. Um, it runs on an 18650 battery or CR123As, uh, so it is dual fuel capable. Uh, straight, same as pretty much any other uh, Goonbeam product that they make. Um, I have this one on an Arasaka offset mount just to get it kind of up and to the left just a little bit so it's kind of out of the way. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is kind of a first look at this. I will be rocking this more in the future. I've been using it, uh, kind of practicing with it, uh, and then uh, doing like indoor and outdoor stuff with it for uh, about three weeks now. Um, but yeah. So Goonbeam does actually make two different flavors of this uh, IR light. You uh, can get them in uh, an 840 nanometer wavelength, which is visible to pretty much any Gen 2, Gen 3 night vision system. Um, it is very much in the IR spectrum. Um, and then there's another version that is a slightly shorter wavelength. This is a 940 nanometer model right here. And this is what he considers his stealth one. Um, and it's really only visible under Gen 3 night vision. So if you're fighting poor people that have Gen 2 or Gen 2 Plus, it's not going to work too well for them. Um, but uh, <laughs> with the uh, Gen 3s here, um, works just fine. I use a Gen 3 PVS-14, just a contract tube, and it uh, works just great under this. And then I also have um, an 840 nanometer one that he sent me as well. You will notice, um, due to that longer wavelength, it is spilling out... Um, a little bit more light that I've noticed. Uh, I want to say it's probably around a 50% uh, uh, increase in IR illumination. Uh, I have actually found in certain situations that the 840 nanometer model is actually too much IR light. Um, I've had my tube, which is auto gated, will actually auto gate on me when I'm outdoors if I'm illuminating something that's within probably about 40 yards or so. I'll turn that on like a tree or anything like that. I'll turn that on. It'll actually light it up so bright that uh, it'll auto gate the tube. So that's actually pretty neat. Um, it's got a lot of horsepower like I said before. Uh, I prefer the uh, uh, 940 nanometer model just because it's a little bit less bright. Um, certain situations you don't want your tube really auto gating on you and you can't adjust the brightness of this on the fly. Uh, so just passive aiming through a red dot. This is just more than enough, especially for something like this. This is a 9 inch 300 blackout LMT. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this just makes a good stop gap between an IR laser, uh, a civilian class anyways. Um, for civilian class things, I think this honestly does in certain applications beat out a civilian class laser. This thing is um, a lot cheaper. It's more durable, and uh, it just it works as long as you have the appropriate optic and uh, know how to use it properly. Um, this IR illuminator will uh, it will definitely get the job done. Uh, when you're balling on a budget, honestly, 110 bucks or 120 bucks or whatever it is, uh, you really can't go wrong. Uh, it comes with a battery. It comes um, just ready to rock and roll. Honestly, out of the box, you can just throw it on any pick rail. Uh, if you need to run a uh, scout mount or something like that, just like any other um, Streamlight body, they will accept the uh, Surefire scout mounts. So you can throw one on here like I did, or you can just use the included uh, Picatinny rail adapter. So yeah, they're great products. Um, been using it for a while now. I've been using other Goonbeam products for a while. Uh, like I said before, I am affiliated with them, uh, but I try to be very, um, it's as unbiased as you possibly can be. Uh, if I don't like a product, I'm not going to make a positive uh, positive video on it. So there we are. Thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, go ahead and uh, check out any links below that you find interesting and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.